messaging. In the past, it was eyeballs. It was all, media was always saying, how many eyeballs we have? Oh, we have a, a newsletter. We have uh, 40,000 subscribers. Who cares? It's about relevancy. I would rather have a blog with 200 people that go to that blog, but they're looking for office condos, okay? I want to be in the office condo blog with 200 people, then you sell me your million-person media list, okay? It's relevancy. So whenever you think about marketing opportunities, look for relevancy. I would rather have five guys that are interested in my stuff than 50,000 that might be interested, okay? This is really important. Next is measurable. And I know I keep beating this to death, but in the old world, it was untrackable, and, and people came up with all kinds of nonsense, and, you know, well, it's about branding and, and positioning, and, and you're going to get lots of eyeballs. No, no. If we can't track it like direct marketers today, we have the tools today, then you're just wasting, you're just throwing that money. I mean, go, go on that trip to Hawaii instead. You know, go, tr go buy yourself another car, then run another ad. Because if you can't track it and quantify it, don't waste your money. 800 numbers. There's a company called Who's Calling, and they've got lots of competitors that do this. Who's Calling is the biggest. I'm not saying they're the best, but they're the ones that we use a lot. Who's Calling.com. Let me just give you an example of what they do. They will create, they'll give you as many uh, unique 800 numbers as you want. You want it's five or 10, whatever it is, you want 100. Then what happens when you call that number, they pull the caller ID information. So anyone that calls from a landline, which is still 70% of calls, they'll pull the caller ID number. So even if they call that number, Ring wants to hang up on you. You've already got their name and address, okay? That, and their phone number, okay? That's powerful, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say you're doing a press release, or let's say you're doing a whatever, uh, direct mail. You will know everyone that called that phone number from that particular press release or from that DM. So you'll have their name and their address and their phone number. That's worth something, right? It gets better. They also will record every call for you. This is really important for any, anyone that manages any sales teams. Until you actually listen to the inbound calls and the outbound calls, you will be horrified on what people are saying. And the reason is most people don't use scripts. The best guys in the world, the guys that are making seven figures a year in sales, use scripts. The people that aren't making any money don't use scripts. <laughs> okay, so until you have your team using scripts and you listen to their calls, you'll be completely horrified with what they're saying. So all that money you spend your cost per lead, whether it's $100 or $500, is completely wasted on that phone call. So the reason I happen to like who's calling or companies like that is, A, I know in real time, every time a phone call comes, I know what lead source it came in, I know what my cost per call is, and they have a tool where you type in Toronto Star $30,000, and if you've got 30 calls, it'll tell you in real time, okay, cost per call was $1,000. So they have a way to track that. Um, they'll also do beautiful charts and graphs. You say, wow, all of my calls are coming from Markham or all my calls are coming from this postal code or they're coming from this area code. So that's nice because a lot of us, we have a gut feeling. We think we know it, but until you see it in charts and graphs, you're like, ooh. And I'll give you an example of a Toronto project recently that we did that and they're like, wow. Well, I'll just tell you now. We were um, asked to consult on a project um, in Mississauga. And Mississauga is a very competitive condominium market beautiful project called the Onyx. I mean, stunning project. Very competitive marketplace. And they were doing a lot of marketing in GTA. I mean, huge money. I mean, a lot of stuff that you can't track or measure. Well, we started analyzing where the buyers came from. So we didn't really care about so much the leads. Obviously, leads are going to come from wherever you advertise. So if I lead, advertise in Markham, I'm going to get lots of Markham leads. But where are the buyers coming from? What we found is if you look at the Onyx on the map, and it's near square one, literally all the buyers came from the three postal codes right next door to it. Okay, what does that mean? It means that any marketing that you're not doing within, literally within two miles of the property was complete a waste of money because all of our buyers were coming from literally walking distance to the project in Mississauga. Well, what was great about that is there's only one movie theater, there's only one grocery store, I mean, there's only one point of where all these people are going to connect with. So if we put all that money and just really hit the local area, we'd be very successful. So my point is until you track and measure the stuff, you're going to be wasting all kinds of resources and money until you can track it. So who's calling is a great reason. And there's a lot of other bells and whistles that they have that are really cool. Um, there's other companies that we use internationally because who's calling only works in North America called toll-free forwarding. So we'll use that internationally. But there's a lot of great companies. So that's one way. The another way is you have to track web visits. So for $8.99, you can create different uh, URLs, Okay. So a lot of times people will say, well, but Roman, you know, are we going to screw up our brand by having different domains? Here's why I don't think so. 
First of all, you're not Nike, you're not Pepsi, uh, you're not Apple. So to me, your brand is important, but it's t- t- if, if it's a question of I need to measure my response rate versus building a long-term brand, I'm going to go for I need to know what my acquisition costs are. So we take your project name and we put a word in front of it. So let's pretend your project's called Veranda. So I put own Veranda, live Veranda, dream Veranda, buy Veranda. We've done 70 different <laughs> versions of this. We'll take a, a word and then your project.com. That way, anyone that types in buy Veranda, they came from Toronto Life. Anyone that came from own Veranda came from Globe and Mail. Anyone that came from live Veranda came from my press release. So, so now between my unique URL and my 800 number, I can pretty accurately and in real time see what's working, what's not. So your unique URLs, you're talking about 10 bucks. Somebody puts in an Excel spreadsheet. They could actually help you track it. So your webmaster could do it. Now, you know, we, I can tell you about some very expensive solutions. N5R has some very expensive solutions that do all this for you, but you can do this stuff yourself.